As a physicist with Brookhaven National Laboratories, John Milliner was proud to contribute to the furtherance of research in his field throughout a lengthy career. Gifted with a mind for mathematics and science from an early age, Dr. Milliner spent his early years being inspired by his parents, both of whom possessed advanced degrees. His father, in particular, was an inspiration as a botanist and university lecturer. His parents saw to it that Dr. Milliner was provided with the type of education that would allow him to reach his full potential, and reach it he did. He attended a secondary school with a strong reputation for excellence in physics and mathematics, and by the time he completed his high school curriculum, he graduated directly from high school to second year coursework in college. Dr. Milliner stresses that while he had mentors and inspirations in education, the schools he went to had such high quality faculty that it was difficult to single out any one source of inspiration. He does recall the efforts of Fred Orange, who reached a prominent role in education without going into administration, and who later took the job of lecturer at his university. Additionally, one year he had a physics teacher who had been in the Navy. Though too many years have gone by to recall his name, Dr. Milliner nevertheless remembers his excellence as a teacher. With regard to his field of study, Dr. Milliner did not feel driven from an early age to enter physics. Rather, he excelled in his mathematics and science courses and decided to continue from there. He considers himself lucky that there was a good nuclear physics department in place when he went to Oxford. It was a popular place for scientists to spend their sabbatical years or do a postdoc. There was a constant stream of young physicists at the time, and Dr. Milliner was proud to be among their ranks. He had published some papers fairly early in his career, after joining Brookhaven in 1976, but again, Dr. Milliner stresses that it is difficult to point out any one single paper or project that he finds to be a defining achievement of his career. Presently, Dr. Milliner is working on two projects. His paid work is as an editor for Physical Review C, which is one of the American Physical Society journals. The Physical Review was started in 1893, and it was a publication where people could publish their papers in physics. It didn't matter what sort of physics. And then in 1970, it broke up into four parts, A, B, C, and D. 25 years later, it added part E and has been adding journals ever since. The Physical Review C deals with nuclear physics, but there are many subfields of nuclear physics. The way the publication operates is that the staff has a couple of in-house editors, but they also employ many working physicists that look after each of these individual fields. He started working with Physical Review C in 2002, and he continues to do research in nuclear structure and hypernuclear physics. Looking ahead, Dr. Milliner plans to continue his contributions to the field and leave behind a legacy of accomplishments for others to follow.